Good evening, everyone. It's Eric Johnson, a.k.a. the Band-Aid Man. Oh, see? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm flashing gang signs or something. Um, if you're looking at all these videos that I am uh, currently trying to put up on my YouTube channel, just understand I'm trying to meet and beat the algorithm here so that I can finally invite some of you to my channel. Apparently, I need to have content before I can start bringing you all on board. So I've got an 18-minute live stream that uh, all of you can go ahead and check out. Please don't sit through the whole thing. It is me rambling about EMS. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, uh, my name is Eric Johnson. I teach EMT at uh, Capistrano Unified and Laguna Beach Unified for the College and Career Advantage EMT program. My students are all high school seniors. They are all very motivated. And I wanted to give them an opportunity to uh, access some of the content that we go over in class because, frankly, a lot of the stuff that we learn in class is uh, outside of the realm of common sense or stuff that you can kind of build upon from other classes. Unless you've taken anatomy and physiology or some type of uh, integrated healthcare course, most of this information is brand new. So a lot of it can be kind of intimidating, especially when you uh, take your first test and, man, you just fall apart. So um, this is being put together during our distance learning experiment that is uh, basically nationwide. Uh, I, I know how YouTube works, so I don't want to say um, any big bad words that begin with the letter C because uh, apparently they will yank them down, uh, them being the video. So I'll just go ahead and leave it at that. But if you are alive in uh, this day and age, March 24th, 2020, you know that uh, your life has probably changed just a tiny bit. So that's um, that's what we're dealing with, and that's what kind of generated my desire to make this channel. Truthfully, it's been something that I wanted to do for a long time, but I didn't really have the time. Now that I'm working from home and I'm uh, basically operating my classroom from a computer, I have a lot of extra time, so I want to make best uh, best use of it. These, uh, these very first videos, I mean, there's a chance they may not stay up for very long because, frankly, the, uh, the quality on here is about as good as you would get on a Nokia flip phone. For those of you that don't know what a Nokia flip phone is, thanks for making me feel old. Uh, and no, before I get a million comments, it'd say, okay, boomer, I'm not a boomer, so bleh. I just have an old mustache and I'm fat, so. Um, aside from that... Just trying to make this a uh, fun and inviting place for my EMT students, but I do want to open it up to the uh, greater EMT community. Whether you are interested in EMS, emergency medical services, or you're currently taking an EMT program, or you're already done, you're working, I want this to be a place where you can go and do a little bit of uh, a little bit of research. And I don't want it to be stuffy, and I don't want it to be death by Eric presenting because that is like the worst way to learn so i'm gonna try to do what i do in my classroom and tailor this to what people like so if you feel like these uh sit down sessions are worthwhile great if you feel like you get more out of the interactive and by interactive skill sessions i mean we're going to be doing skills both live and uh, uh pre-recorded so You'll get an opportunity to look at the skills as they would be presented as if we were doing them from the perspective of the National Registry Skills Psychomotor Exam. If you are even somewhat involved in uh, an EMT education program, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for a lot of people, that causes a lot of stress. So I want to make it uh, easy and accessible. I'm going to be utilizing some of my great skills instructors. I've got uh, some amazing people that uh, both are working in the field uh, and uh, some that have retired from the field and even some that haven't really done much more than uh, get their feet a little bit wet. But I've got such a great cast of individuals that come in to uh, spend their time and energy on making my class better that I want to make sure that they are absolutely um, you know, propelled to the very top. 
So uh, you'll be meeting them. If you're some of my current or uh, future students, you may already know who I'm talking about. And uh, that cast of characters may change over time. So, you know, be sure to um, leave a comment. Be sure to like this video if it's something that you enjoy. And, man, I'm just going to come right out and say it because I'm not trying to make money from this channel. I, I will not be making money from this channel. If you don't like it, dislike it. But tell me why and tell me how I can make it better for you. This is not a platform for me to sit here and say, I am so great. Look at how great I am. It's an opportunity for me to say, I've done this for a long time, and I love what I did, and I love what I do now. And I want to take that passion, and I want to share it with the newest set of uh, providers. And I want to help enhance the careers of people that are out there. So help me help you. Also, and this is super important. If there's something that is wrong factually or maybe not explained the right way or maybe just confusing, say something. I will put in an edit uh, as soon as I possibly can, uh, at, at the very least in the comments. And if it's something that's so egregious that I look at it and I go, ah, I can't believe I just said that. That is so stupid and wrong. That is not even close to being correct. Like, wow. I can't believe that I just said that we breathe through the esophagus. That's obviously factually incorrect. I may just go ahead and pull down the video. Not out of embarrassment. You know, I will always uh, own up to my mistakes because I'm human. And frankly, I am not the smartest. Uh, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I work with a lot of people that are much, much smarter than me. I'm just uh, in a position where I can share this information with, uh, with all of you. So, um... I'm not afraid of being wrong. I'm not afraid of criticism uh, as long as it is on point. If you're just being mean to be mean, I am not going to engage with that. I'll probably just leave a comment saying, thank you so much for your uh, well-thought response. Um, and I'll just let you uh, dangle and uh, figure out why I'm just such a nice gosh darn guy. Um, but that's, uh, that's pretty much all that I have. Um, I don't quite understand how the algorithms work on YouTube yet. It's, uh, it's a pretty fickle um, platform, so I'm doing my very best to make longer videos. I know that short videos tep uh, typically don't go very far, and then you don't want to make the really, really, really long ones because that tends to scare people off, so I'm going for somewhere in between 7 and 15 minutes, and that seems to be the uh, it seems to be the gold, the, the golden area where uh, you can get the most viewers. So I apologize if I'm rambling. Um, I, I do promise that my upcoming videos will be much more uh, pithy. And for those of you that don't know what pithy is, it's a very fancy word for being short, sweet, and to the point. And uh, if you think that I just have a bad lisp, I promise I don't. It's spelled P-I-T-H-Y. Look it up. Look at that. You're already learning something. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm always looking for uh, ways that I can improve my channel. I'm working really hard on getting rid of the uhs and ums and brrr and whatever other weird noises I make because no one likes to listen to that. And overall, I'm trying to provide you guys with a platform that you feel is worth your time. As I've told my students over and over and over again, I want to respect your time because time is money. And while you may not be necessarily making money while you watch these videos, if you are, I won't tell. Um, I want to make sure that you are getting the most bang for your buck, uh, as the old idiom goes. So, you know, please send your send, send your information to me. I, I look at every message. I uh, maintain other media presence. Um, if you are brand new here, I'm not sure if this is going to hurt the channel or not, but uh, you can go ahead and check me out over at Instagram at the Band-Aid Man OC. All one word. If you're, uh, I don't know, brand new to the internet, you've never been on Instagram before, uh, go ahead, like, follow, and uh, check out some of my great, po uh, great posts, <laughs> some of my great content. I uh, typically post at least once a day. We do some very fun, uh, some very fun information and uh, and content. 
It's themed content, especially we've got Medical Mondays, Trauma Tuesdays, Do Work Wednesday, where we go ahead and uh, highlight a professional in the EMS, sports medicine, or public safety field. And then uh, we have a couple of other one-offs like uh, Throwback Thursday and Frick Yeah Friday. I don't even know what Friday is going to be just yet. It's all kind of new and uh, evolving at this point. So if you're jumping in at the base level on this and you are a, uh, I guess we'll call you an OG follower at this point, um, you're kind of part of history. I'm not thinking that this is going to be some big blown out thing, um, especially considering I'm calling myself the Band-Aid man. I'm pretty sure that Band-Aid is a registered trademark, so I'm uh, waiting for the folks over at Johnson & Johnson to shut me down, but secretly they don't know that my last name is Johnson, so I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to just go ahead and use it. Um, for those uh, future lawyers out there, you'll already know that none of that is correct, so we'll see how it all goes, but you know what? Uh, say lovey. We will do things as uh, as they come up and deal with problems as they arise, and you know we'll uh, just keep it easy and fun. So um, I'm uh, about at the 11 and a half minute mark here, and I know that you're probably just like, oh, <laughs> just stop, stop talking and touching your face and being obnoxious and loud and. Oh, I just, I hate your camera and your dumb lamp, and why do you have a hole in your curtains? Because I have cats. I've got two cats. They're sisters, and they're jerks. So, they like to destroy everything. I, uh, I basically come to the conclusion that my security deposit is not only gone, but will be uh, compounded by the fact that the deposit will not cover the damage that they've done. Support animals? Hardly. You are... No, I'm, and I know you can't see, but they're they're over there staring at me, wondering why I'm talking to myself in an empty apartment. So uh, that's what I've got. Uh, it's getting kind of late here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. Thank you so much for your time and support. Like, subscribe, comment, do big things. Bye.